to Jokic. Dump it under Millsap. Jokic. Put it up. to Jokic. Jokic falling away. Good! Nikoli! So you can let you do a high five, they're saying, but not a high forearm. Oh, 2.4 remaining. Jeff Teague, a very good player. Played with Millsap. Bounce pass. Fabulous! Oh. And Harris finishes. She got a thing for Chanel Vintage that drop before she could speak English. Do you love me and love seeking attention? I mean, Yaga, Yaga, Yaga. Kuruzu. What's up, YouTube? It's Drew, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're coming out show with a big body banger. Now, first thing first, I'm I'm sorry if I offended you, and you have no eyebrows. You know, it sounds like a personal problem, but like I swear, at a wig store, you know, cop some wig hair, put it where your eyebrows are supposed to be, and you'll be all right. And then just like the video for me. You feel me? But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We back with another big body banger today. You feel me? We coming out show with some NBA 2K21. And today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make Nikola Jokic. I don't know if I said his name right. If I butchered his name, don't come at me. Don't come at me in the comments. But listen, dude is nice. This man is averaging a triple-double this season and nobody is talking about it because he's, he's so casual with it. He passes like a point guard. He can shoot like a shooting guard. He can post like a like a Shaq type of build. He can do pretty much everything. He's a the essential offensive archetype. So yeah, and he's underrated and underappreciated. To be honest, he should be MVP candidate this year. And I bet you this bill will go underrated and underappreciated. But yeah, make sure you follow what I'm doing step by step. So this is Nikola Jokic, right? So of course I can't make him exactly like how he is in real life and have him have like 95 rebound, you know, but I made him as close as possible. So you see I upgrade the post, you know, mid-range three-pointer. I'm going to upgrade uh, the post hook, uh, you know, not touching the dunk because I don't know if y'all seen him, but man's cannot jump. <laughs> he cannot jump. He, 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 he's, he's hop deprived, bro. I'm PS5 deprived. He is hop deprived. He has hopes, not hops. And that's unfortunate. But still, that's crazy. Like what he can still do in basketball while not being athletic. Like he's athletic in the sense that he can play basketball, but not athletic in a sense that he can't jump out the gym and stuff. Like he's not like the Shaq type of build, but he can still play similar to, you know, he could play similar to him. You could play similar to a dirt. He can do a bunch of things. And it's ridiculous. He's like, the all-around type of player that you would want on your team because he controls the pace and it's really crazy to watch a center really do what he's doing like in my opinion he's the most skilled center uh right now and he could probably like if he keeps this up he's going to go down as the most skilled center in history and he could even go down as the best center in history if he keeps this up because no center i don't think has ever averaged a triple double like the only per I, uh, yeah i know no center has ever averaged a triple double in the season because the only person was oscar robertson and then it's russell westbrook so if a center does that burn it all down you know like if he does if he can do this over multiple seasons i'm sorry it's like he won't be considered the most dominant, but in terms of basketball skill, I think he'll be the best. And yeah, that's that's my take on this, right? So, cause honestly, he's revolutionizing the game of big man, showing that you don't just gotta be big and play big. You can 
play big, but play smart. Pause. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like a Luka Doncic, but as a center, you know, because Luka, you look at him, you looking at him like, dude, really? And then he come and step back in your face, splash. And now you out here like, dude, really? You know what? So it's like unexpected. He like, he like that. Like you go to Dollar Tree, right? You buy, you buy say some shampoo from Dollar Tree and you expect it to be garbage, but it's hitting, your curls are popping, your hair is nice and rehydrated. That is exactly what Nikola Jokic is. He is a catfish. You look at him, you like, dang bro, you work at Walmart or something? Nah, he is an NBA dropping people off, dropping people like off, off, down terrible. Basketball players professionally. And yeah, it's just crazy what he can do. Bro, like imagine if Jokic was like, athletic <laughs> like imagine he was black bro <laughs> like it'd be over for the nba i mean it's a rat but yeah with this bill you're gonna see it's, it's like a jokage type beat bro like literally get the rebounds you throw it straight down the court the passes are there and they score because of that dimer to be honest you probably don't even need break starter hall of fame you could really put it on silver and then use the two extra badges on something else that's useful to you you see the post spin it leads to a foul. That's what's gonna happen, people. They can't defend that. You know, you got your post moves that high, and on top of that, you got Hall of Fame post spin technician. Yeah, they're gonna be struggling. You also can drop step. I didn't, in this game, I didn't really do post hooks or deep fades, but, I, cause I forgot that I could do them, cause I'm so used to playing on a big man that can't shoot, and I forgot, but I was playing like a regular big man, and it was still working the same way. But you gotta remember, you could shoot, like I could have been doing deep fades, I, I got Dirk and the Whiskey's jump shot on here equipped, so obviously it's not the fastest, but I could have been doing deep phase, could have been doing more po post hooks. I did one post hook in this whole, you know, thing. I don't want to keep y'all for too long, so I just kind of play a half and then stop, <laughs> stop the gameplay. So like, yeah, I mean, especially when you hit 99 and you buy some boost, you basically have an 83 pointer. Like with the extra boost, it's like an 80 some three pointer and like an 85 mini. So yeah, if you're not buying boost, you're already losing. So yeah, and then you add that, like if you add on to your playmaking and you get boost, your passing accuracy, and then you got flashy pass, so your teammates gonna love you because you getting a takeover up. Like it's a multifaceted build and it's gonna be underrated, underappreciated because it's not the typical big man bully ball type of build. But yeah, that's the end of the video. This is the Nikola Jokic build. And yeah, don't, don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.